Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Gang Z Craft. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a great day, and we're back at the Stanky Leg Boys base. And I want to lay out, I've already started a little bit, but I figured I should probably show you guys this. I'm in the process of kind of laying out buildings. I'm not going to actually build all of these right now, but I want to kind of lay out the area and get sort of an idea of where everything's going to be and, and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm, I'm focusing uh, specifically on this side right now. Um, not on the side, uh, once you cross the river, basically, is where I'm going to stop for the moment. But, I'm just kind of working on getting, uh, getting our basic, you know, area planned a little bit. And I think it's a really important step in the building process to plan things out like this in advance, figure out where buildings are going to go, all this kind of stuff. None of these buildings are really being used for anything. Um, like, this, this blacksmith... It, is not being used at all. Nobody's using it. The chest is empty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, a lot of this, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna vein mine it. I'm just gonna tear it down. Uh, and thankfully, due to vein miner, it's not gonna take me a million years to get rid of this stuff. It'll be pretty quick and easy, actually. We just have to do little chunks of it at a time, and you know, good to go. Nice and nice and simple, uh, which will make this whole thing a lot faster and easier. So. We'll kind of clear out the blacksmith. I cleared out uh, a couple of the other little homes and things like that. The the default Minecraft generated structures. I got rid of all of them. Uh, and it looks like my inventory is completely full. And it is. So let's just grab a bag. And let's just say everything that isn't this polished sandstone is going to go into that bag. That'll be a little bit easier for us. We also need to get some grass uh, for over here, I think. Now, ultimately, when we build the village itself, uh, the grass is probably not even going to be here at all. The whole village will be one consistent style. Uh, probably sand, or maybe the whole. Maybe we'll pave the entire thing with that brownstone. I don't really know yet. Um, but for the time being. I want to get some grass just so we can kind of uh, make it look consistent, and more importantly, so we can get the shape that we want. I'm more I'm more concerned with making sure we get the right uh, the right terrain shape as we go along here. That should be enough, I think, for me to fix that little area over there if I can find a way around. Also, Doll has been working on the walls. This is what he came up with uh, as kind of our our wall design. Uh, I think this is polished obsidian. Yeah, it's, uh, or it's uh, chiseled obsidian, and then it looks like chiseled limestone and sandstone. So, kind of an interesting wall design. I think I like it. Um, we need to get rid of that as well. I missed it before. But for now, I'm just going to kind of get this all filled in. Let's say maybe something like that. How does that feel? Yeah, that seems pretty good. And then we'll just grab a Builder's Wand and do that. There we go. Much easier. Okay, so that gives us kind of a nice little terrain shape. So anyway, back to planning this out. Now, obviously, we want there to be a building right here, right? Uh, and we're, we're trying to think kind of about, like, line of sight and how much space you're going to have and all that kind of stuff. So you come through the main entrance... I want you to see buildings on this side, buildings on this side, and then a building right when you walk in. So let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. This will be kind of one area. Uh, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll totally work. So we'll have a building like right here, right? Uh, now, this will be very boring if we just leave it like that, so let's kind of make, like, a little a little bit that kind of sticks off the side, like so, just to give this thing a little bit uh, of a better shape. And then that'll end up coming down here, but that's okay. Um, here, I've got another building. This is going to be, like, a, like, an open but covered area, so there won't actually be walls here, but we'll have, like, a... Um, maybe a roof or 
or something, an awning, something covering up this area, but uh, still without having actual walls. So it it, op it kind of opens up right here. So then you come in here, you've got a building right in front of you, which kind of obstructs your view of the area over there, which is what we want. And then when you come around this corner, then you'll be able to see a bit more. I'm thinking right here, we probably want another little house or something like that. Five, six, seven, maybe? How's that? That will not be in the river. Good, good, good. So we'll have another structure here. That seems good. Uh, there's room for a structure over here. Some of these are going to be a lot bigger than others. Um, let's maybe go... Six, seven... Just kind of laying these out, right? Kind of laying the groundwork. And we'll get these kind of staggered a little bit. But I think that seems good. I like it. That'll give us a nice feel for this area. Uh, and then the river will run through here. We've also got some space over here that we'll need to fill. Uh, there's a little bit of space right here, but maybe we'll have like... Um, maybe like a market stall. I mean, the there's definitely going to be a proper... Uh, Bazaar? 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 Marketplace? Giant marketplace? There's going to be a proper marketplace somewhere in the village, because that's something that was very, um, very reminiscent of this style uh, and of this time period. Uh, this kind of, I don't want to say ancient Arabic, but not quite modern Arabic either. Maybe, I don't know what time period exactly, but... We would almost certainly have a bazaar. Even, I mean, even modern Arabic cities have market, giant marketplaces. Uh, it's a very, uh, very culturally relevant sort of a thing. Like it's, it's, it's a big deal. Um, so maybe like right here, we'll put like a little marketplace that's kind of nestled up against the wall, right? Just something like this, uh, and I'll just mark it out like so with oak planks. Then back here, uh, this will be paved. There'll be a little alleyway. We'll have a building right here, I think. And right here, I want to have like a little kind of a courtyard, sort of a back alley sort of thing, right? So um, maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. So something like this. And coming up, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, and right here. Well, you know what? We can, we can. Maybe we finagle that a little bit by kind of just tweaking that edge. We could do something like that, right? So imagine these walls and these buildings being as high hot or higher than this one. So you'd come in here, you'd have a building here, building here, and then there'd be like a little courtyard right here. We might put like some seating. Uh, this would be maybe be like a little meeting place or something like that. Uh, something along those lines I think would be very cool. Um, and then... Like, that's a really good start. We still have room for some more structures and buildings back here. Um, but I don't know. Do we want to actually do that? Hmm. I think we do. We'll, we'll, but we'll sort those out later. This is definitely a, a good start for what we need to be building. There's a lot of structures here. Um, I'm certainly not going to get them all done today. Not even close. Um, I may not even get a single one of them done today. And that's fine. I really just wanted to kind of lay them out. So we can get kind of an idea of how this is going to look. Now, with the planning out of the way... Oh, this well totally needs to go, by the way. Oh, I fell into it. Um, oh, don't, don't do that. Come on, let me out. Let me out. Okay, we're good. There we go. Nice and safe. Okay, anyway. Um, do I want to remove this well now? I kind of think I do. Yeah. Where's, uh, uh, nope, grave key, there we go. Yeah, I'm thinking we remove this now, maybe not entirely, like maybe we'll leave the little water right here, but at least get rid of these couple of layers so it's not directly in your way. Maybe we'll do something like that. And my neighbors are like blasting music right now suddenly. I hope uh, you can't hear that. If you can, I'm very sorry. I have rude neighbors sometimes. Um, <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm falling into things. Let's get rid of this top layer here. It's weird that the well is, like, directly in the middle of the river. Like, that just seems so silly to me. If you think about it, like, why would there be a well in the river? You can get water from the river. I, I, I mean, I don't know. Minecraft sometimes does weird things. I, I mean, I suppose maybe you would do a well if the, the river water wasn't safe to drink, but I doubt that the well would be in the river. You know what I mean? Like, uh, this well would draw water from the river anyway, so why even build the well? That makes no sense. Let's just kind of put this cobblestone down temporarily so you can run back and forth. There we go. Nice and easy. Okay, so, um, I think at this point, what we need to do is head down to storage machines. Captain Q has been doing some more work on this place, and it is looking amazing. Absolutely. Like, look at this. It's, uh, stuff is happening. This place is looking incredible. I'm so happy with it. I'm so happy to have other people in the group who are build focused. Like, it's so nice to not be the only person who focuses on building. Um, so that, like, we can bounce ideas off of each other and all that kind of stuff. And it's just, it's a good time. Um, anyway. Hey, Dark Fan. How's it going, buddy? Um, so let me just dump this stuff in here. Now, I've heard, I think it's this one. Yeah, this guy. So we can take a quantum backpack from this back, this quantum chest. And apparently what'll happen is anything that I throw into this backpack will get transported into our refined storage system. I think Dark Fan set that up. I'm not entirely sure, though. Um, I know a lot of the other guys in the Stanky Leg Boys stream a lot more than I do, and they spend, uh, their, you know, hours upon hours on Gang Z during streaming, uh, or during their stream time, setting things up and, and grinding away. So, so like, Dark Fan, Captain Q, for example, um, get a lot more done <laughs> than I do because they're on the server a bit more. But anyway, so this Quantum Backpack is essentially, like, a way to teleport or transport items back to our refined storage system, which is pretty cool. So, uh, let's, let's test this thing out. Let's say this chisels and bits tape measure. First of all, let's look in here and see. Okay, there is no tape measure in there. So if I toss this into this backpack, there we go. And now, yep, it totally works. It works. I'm super happy. I'm super happy about that. So that'll be something to carry around with us, for sure, in our uh, ender sack. Now, what we need to get sorted out, if I'm going to be doing a lot of building, given that this is my modded Minecraft, one thing I am going to want as soon as possible is creative flight, for sure. Like, that's something I definitely want to have. It'll make building a lot easier, not having to pillar up and pillar down and, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. So... Let's take a look and see what sort of flight options do we have? I think I, I know we've got the jetpack from Mechanism, but that's not the best. Uh, there is the no. Do we not have the angel ring? Really? We have extra utilities. Oh, we don't have the angel ring. I see. That's kind of surprising. It must have been uh, manually removed or disabled. Maybe Dark Fan's trying to ex uh, trying to encourage us to explore other creative flight options. So I think in that case, our best bet is probably to make a Chaos Gem from Silence Gems. And one of these, Recharge Flight, there we go. So, to make this, we need four Enriched Chaos Essence. We need shiny plumes. Plumes are made using feathers and a turquoise shard. Okay, I think we might be able to do that. Let's take a look. Let's just see. First of all, turquoise. We do have that, and that can be made into shards. So, let's toss those in here. So, uh, if I do flight... 
We need one. Okay, so I need more chaos essence is what I need. Um, let's look at chaos ore. We've got a ton of it here. Uh, I believe it pulverizes into chaos. S uh, into like two of them. Yeah. Okay. So we'll get that going. Um, I'm going to toss that in here. Uh, actually, we have a sag bill here that we could use as well. So let's go boop. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, is it? Okay. You can't throw it. it. It has to be a pulverizer. Apparently you can't uh, do it in a sag mill. That's interesting. Anyway, we'll grab some of this. We'll let this kind of do its thing. And I should be able to make the rest of these again. So we needed one, two of those. There we go. That should be enough. And there we go. We've got the flight room. And then I need to make a gem. And I think they're all the same. I think they're all out of two million. I'm pretty sure. So let's just look at silence gems. What do we have a ton of? We have a lot of opals. I'm good with opals. Uh, so opal, chaos opal. Uh, so let's just go like so. And there we go. We've got that. And then you combine these and that will give it light. Now, this thing does need to be charged and i believe dark fan said somewhere around here he has like a a pedestal or something that's supposed to charge them i'm not entirely sure where it is though hmm i'm looking is it over here maybe no this is all torn down moved around and i don't know where anything is uh, that's all right. What we'll do uh, is we'll go back to Silence Gems and we'll find the rune for charging. Recharge. Generates chaos when not in use. That's the one. So to make that, we need a chaos core. And we'll do that. And that will then charge this thing slowly, very slowly. But I think I can make a few more of those. Um, in order for this thing to fly, though, it uses um, a certain amount per second. However, it only uses that when I'm actually in the air. Yeah, it drains it at 80, uh, 80 per tick. And it's generating it slower than that. But I think if I make a bunch more of these recharge things, that should do it. So let's go charge rune. And let's try and make four more, maybe. Oh, and now we're out of enriched chaos. How do I how do I make enriched chaos? Uh enriched chaos there we go needs more chaos essence so we'll toss that in there so actually it's like four chaos essence to make one enriched chaos so that's actually kind of a lot um let's make that there we go so that i can toss those on there Recharge two, so it'll recharge faster. Recharge three. I wonder what the limit is. But it's just going to keep charging and charging and charging. So, um, let's go... Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, there we go. And let's try making two more charge runes. We'll just see if this works. There we go. We'll do recharge four. Looks like recharge four is the most you can do. 
Okay, so that's good to know. But I don't know how fast that's charging. Presumably, I mean, the big thing is, it just needs to be enough. It, am I still? Yeah, okay, so it's not enough. I, I'm not charging fast enough that it drain that it goes forever. But when I'm just walking around, it doesn't do anything. And then it does give me the ability to fly if I need to. So assuming I spend most of my time either on the ground or, you know, running around on a roof or something like that, you know, shifting and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, this should be fine. It also completely eliminates fall damage, which is great for us. That's going to be awesome. Um, so let's take a look and see what other runes we can get, because it, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, charge, we're maxed out. Yeah, max level four, I see. Uh, flight. Does it say generates? It just says generates chaos. It doesn't actually spe specify anything beyond that. Generation, resistance, water breathing, night vision, and levitation, glowing, slowness. Bad chaos runes that I wouldn't want to actually put on myself. Um, so maybe we use capacity? To, I mean, two million's a lot of capacity, though. Like, that'll last us quite a long time. So I think maybe that'll be fine. Maybe we'll be good with that. Um, Dark Fan. Where's that... Chaos Pylon thing. I want to see. <laughs> he, he, I'm sure he knows where it is. I will follow him as he teleports around. Ah, there it is. Oh, okay. So if I toss this on here. Oh, yeah. It, it starts teleporting, or it starts, uh, it recharges way, 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 way faster. Awesome. Okay, so then that should last us quite a long time. Uh, thanks. So now if I fly, yeah, that'll take a while to drain. So that's actually really good. That's really, really good for us. And it recharges, like, pretty quick. Um, so between the recharge that's on there passively and the ability to recharge it basically at will, I think we're pretty set. Um, I wouldn't mind putting a little bit of a capacity upgrade on it, though. Let's just kind of see how that works. If we go uh, capacity? No, 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 no. Um, what rune was it? It was chaos rune capacity. Okay, so it was something like that. Um, fragile diamonds. Those require chaos essence. Let's go one, two. There should be more chaos essence in here. Good, good, good. Um, and then we need enriched. If we look at enriched. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't have any of that right now. We're going to need four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or per thing. And then we go. And let's try to... Oh, what am I missing from that? Oh, did, did that not do a thing? I guess those are not a material... I, I guess that's a material that you have to, like, put in manually or something? That's a little weird. Okay, whatever. We'll just go one and two. There we go. So this has 2 million at the moment. That'll give it 3 million. That'll give it 4 million. Okay, so basically each rune tacks on another million chaos that it can hold. So this now stores twice as much chaos. So basically we can just keep this thing going. That seems like a pretty solid method of creative flight, I think. Which is exactly what I as a builder am going to want. I'm quite happy with that, actually. That will work. That will do the trick. And that was way easier. I mean, to be fair, Dark Fan and the other guys did uh, the majority of the work. Now, I don't think it works. Oh, no, it totally works if it's not in my hotbar. Does it still recharge? Yeah, yeah. So it just needs to be in my inventory. Can I put it in a bobble slot? I can put it in my offhand. 
but I think it, it does have to be in your inventory, which is a little bit of a downside. Is there a way to turn that into like a ring? I don't think so. That would be a cool mod if you could take these chaos gems and turn them into like rings instead, uh, you know, and then wear them as opposed to just carrying them around your inventory. This will totally work, though. I can't complain. I'm happy with this. This is a, a very good and positive step for us. So we now have creative flight and we've laid out some of the buildings. I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, kind of a different one. We got some planning done for building, and then we also got ourselves creative flight. So I'm quite happy. My friends, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Link's in the description, so make sure you check that out as well. Check out all the other people who are playing on the Gang Craft server with me, like this guy, Run Wild, uh, and Dark Fan, who's doing amazing things. We're all having a blast. As for me, though, you know where to find me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.